If you study AQA combined science or separate science, you are likely to get a six mark question. Now, often they're about required practicals. They can be about other topics as well. Let's have a look at what's come up recently to help figure out what might come up this year. So the required practicals of paper two are Hooke's Law, so springs, um, acceleration, force and acceleration, um, waves on strings, so the uh, pattern on a stationary wave, um, and waves in water, so ripple tanks. We've also got infrared radiation, and for separate science only, we've got reflection and refraction through a glass or perspex block or from a mirror. So let's have a look at what's come up. Starting at 2018, the most recent papers you need to look at because those are the new specification ones. So in 2018, we've got combined science, didn't have a required practical question at all that was six marks, had a six marker on stopping distance um, and how you can interpret graphs to determine different things about thinking and breaking distance. Separate science had a fairly standard six marker about Hooke's law. 2019, uh, we had combined science had one all about water waves or the ripple tank um, and how you measure the wave speed. Separate science had one about stopping distance. They also had a small four mark question about um, waves on a piece of string. So it's worth learning that one, even if it's not a six marker. 2020, um, combined science had one about acceleration and separate science had one about refraction through a perspex block. 2021, combined science had another one about ripple tank or water waves. This wasn't a six mark, it was only four marks. They didn't have a six marker that year. 2021, separate science had another one about Hooke's law. 2022, um, combined science had one about infrared radiation. It wasn't a six mark, that's why I put it in brackets. It was a four marker plus a couple of extra bits of questions um, around it. And separate science had one about refraction. 2023, Combined science had another one about acceleration of a car down a slope and um, with a bit of a twist on it. Um, and separate science had one about infrared radiation. Last year, 2024, um, combined science didn't get a six marker in paper two. Um, they had one about waves on a string um, and what factors affect the wavelength. And separate science had one all about refraction. So let's have a look then about predictions. Now, as you might have seen from previous videos, I don't like making predictions. I think it's uh, really silly. You can't really predict the exam boards. Um, and I'll give you an example. Um, if you look at the refraction required practical, that's come up three times in five years. It came up for separate science uh, last year in 2024. It came up in 2022 and it came up in 2020. Now, there's five required practicals. Why have they chosen the same one three times in five years? I don't know, but there's no way you could really predict that. So that would be a, a silly one to predict last year. So my advice would be revise everything. If you revise the practicals, it means you're revising the content as well. You revise what a wave is, what frequency is, for example, revise refraction. So revise all the practicals to help revise the content um, because anything could really come up as witnessed, as evidenced by the ones that didn't have a required practical and just have one about stopping distance. So if I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'm not going to predict which one exactly is going to come up, but if you have any questions about the choir practicals, please see my video about them um, or let me know in the comments.